All right, so welcome back. So let's start working on some UI. And as you can see, I need to remove this guy, John Doe, and I'll start adding the box. The box which you see, which you saw in the mockup, is something like I need a outer structure. So what I will do is I'll just add a do. I don't get auto complete in this. I don't know why. Maybe there should be some plugin, but let me keep working on it. Class name. You should remember or you should know that in React you need to use class name instead of class. So outer box. This will be do. Actually, this is the outer box. Or in fact, it can be anything. Okay, so outer box. Let me grab that thing from my already complete. So I can I can save some time. So here it is. Great. So I have something outside, and in fact, let me just do this thing. Let me get the HTML and CSS from here, so I don't need to waste too much time writing that. So here it is. And there are a bunch of functions which are missing, which I'll need to add. But let me even add this CSS. Perfect. And let me remove all the functions from here. On submit, no, we don't have that. On change, no, we don't have that. On click, I had to do no, not even these, this single to do. It's something I need to work on. So that's pretty much it, I guess. No, it's still maybe there's something else that's missing. Let me see what is that. Hmm. It's not even throwing any errors, so hmm, that's strange. Okay, current input, I guess that's yeah. There you go. There is the current input is not mentioned anywhere. So okay, so what are we going to do is we should be able to get an array or something. So let me first of all define a state. So how do we define state in React hooks is by doing this current input and set current input equals to use you cannot use like use state directly you need to use react dot use state and you are supposed to have an initial value to it so right now initial will be an empty string. And whenever I have an on change, on change, it should do something like event and set current input to event dot target dot value. Perfect. So that's pretty much it as for now. And let me look at the current state. Current not state input. Okay. So in the beginning there's okay, see? We are having the state which is changing as we change this text. Perfect. So we are getting the state which is functional. And let's go to the next step. We need to have a list. So const list set list, or you can have whatever name you want, but yes, use state. It's initially this is an array, so I will have an empty array. And what should happen when I add something? So I want the list to be updated. So let's create a function which will update the list. So 
const add to do and list okay so first of all is just to keep it non mutable we don't do we don't want to do a mutation so const previous or maybe let's say a new list equals to list perfect and we will what we will do is new list dot push initially we will do push but later we will be doing unshift because we there are some use cases so okay so push to this list what do we want to push we want to push current input okay so we will do this and new list is having a new value and then we will be setting the list so set list to new list okay i think i'm pretty sure this is not gonna work but let's just give it a try and i know the reason why so i'll, I'll tell you why so new list uh, not new list sorry list okay perfect so and even let's do this json dot stringify okay perfect you can see an empty array one oh maybe it's one more thing <coughs> excuse me okay so i will need to attach a, the function to the on click add to do perfect now it should kind of okay so on click why is it throwing this error is because we haven't defined event we need to do a prevent default dot prevent default okay at this point it shouldn't break but it won't work as we expect okay it shouldn't work as we expect expect because we cannot assign a list directly like this we need to have a spread operator and okay now it should work perfect so let's see add there you go next one is task one see it keeps adding to the list so now we have a list which is updating so let's go ahead and show the list below after the form list dot map and what are we going to take in this it's a map is a function and in a function we need to call another function which will be like hmm, list and single to do let's do that single to do and at this point we can just do div div to do okay so you might be able to see something below okay so we don't see a single to do and it's because of what let me see okay yeah we are not returning anything we need to return if you're using a curly brace you need to return it see the well see there you go you see one task one there you go you see the, that it keeps on adding now this thing one thing i can do it right now is we don't want the task one or the new one to be at the bottom of it we need it to be on the top so how can we change it we can simply do unshift so it will stay on the top it will be it will uh, it, what it does it it keeps adding to the array in the front so let's do this task one okay task two okay see three four five great so now we can add a list and 
in the next video we'll look into how can we make it, the list look much better we need to even have created at and there are a few other things which we need to add to it so see you in the next video bye bye